Hello everyone. Well, there's been some talk about a new antiviral drug in development called monopiravir, and it's been referred to as a viable treatment option for COVID-19. But is it really everything it's hyped up to be? Let's take a closer look. Molnupiravir is a relatively new experimental antiviral drug that was developed as an oral treatment for influenza. Originally developed at Emory University, a private research university in Atlanta, Georgia. The drug was soon after acquired by Ridgeback Biopharmaceuticals to be further developed through a partnership with Merck. The compound EIDD-1931 that makes up this drug, now referred to as monopiravir, was discovered in 2014. It was shown to have promising activity against RNA viruses like Ebola, influenza, and some others. However, in March 2020, the research team working on molipiravir, molipiravir quickly pivoted to studying its activity with SARS-CoV-2, and the results were very promising. In December 2020, the research group published a paper in Nature Microbiology showing the first demonstration of its activity against SARS-CoV-2. It's important to note that this was not a human model, but rather an animal model involving ferrets. This demo was designed as a proof of concept for suppression of virus transmission. The ferrets were chosen because their lung physiology is very similar to humans. It was shown in the trial that these ferrets were infected with SARS-2 and once they started shedding the virus from their nasal cavity, they began treatment with molipiravir. The results showed that the ferrets were completely suppressed of any viral replication within 24 hours. Hypothetically speaking, if this data could be successfully translated to humans, then COVID-19 infected patients could become non-infectious within 24 hours of taking this medication. With that statement alone, you could imagine the impact a drug like this could have on managing this COVID-19 pandemic. More recently, in early October 2021, a clinical trial done by Merck studied the safety, tolerance, and efficacy of the drug when compared to a placebo. The study involved 1,850 participants, and it was a double randomized with the parallel assignment intervention model. Wow, which is pretty standard for these types of clinical trials. The results showed that treatment with the drug reduced the risk of hospitalization and death by 50%. This was for newly diagnosed and high-risk patients. The key in treating patients with molipiravir is to diagnose and treat within five days. Notably, the drug worked equally well against different COVID variants, including the Delta variant. It was also reported in October 2021 that Merck announced plans to seek an emergency use authorization from the FDA, and it wants to submit marketing applications to other global drug regulators. Additionally, the company intends to license the drug to generic manufacturers, which will help accelerate its availability. It's important to understand that treatment options like molipiravir or monoclonal antibodies, which is another effective treatment that we talked about in a previous video. The link to that video is in the description below if you want to learn more about it. But globally, in our overarching fight against COVID-19, treatment options like these are intended to work alongside the COVID vaccines. They are not intended to be a replacement of the vaccine. The fact is, there is no one single black or white solution to solving the pandemic. It involves a complex array of tools and strategies. And drugs like molipiravir is another effective tool we can add to our arsenal as we all do our part to fight the virus. With that said, remember to be kind and understanding. I know this is a controversial topic, and just remember that we all have our own opinions and perspectives. 
Our intention here is to simply provide information and to help everyone stay healthy as much as we possibly can. We hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks, we'll see you next week.